John Rom throwing Zach Ertz under the bus. <laughs> now, I didn't think that would be a sentence that'd be coming out of my mouth. Ever. <laughs> but John Rom uh, is uh, an Arizona State Sun Devil, right? Correct. And look who's playing down in the state of Arizona now for the last couple of years Zach Ertz. And they know each other. And as Rom has the jacket, well, you have to slip that on, right? Is that what the is that the phrase? Otherwise, wow. I'll, I'll I'll have my jacket. sportscaster card removed. You <laughs> slip. You have the the jacket slipped on you. Okay. okay. All right. After the jacket got slipped on him by Scotty Scheffler, who made a nice little run a couple times on Sunday. Nobody could put it together, and Rom was just that dart he threw on 14 after Kepka oh. finally, you know, got his first birdie in like a day and a half. Um, he he just wrapped things up, but. He had this reveal as he's there amongst all the jackets and all the patrons who were who had the ability to watch and the whole crowd. This is what he had to say. So unreal. Uh, in case you're wondering how accurate that story was, maybe just in the blush of winning, he didn't accurately tell the story. JJ Watt was apparently on that very text chain as well and <laughs> tweeted out the uh the exchange and it's accurate zach ertz in fact sent a tweet to him uh text pardon me to him saying exactly that saying let's have a day john start fast and then jj watt chimed in let's go john pretend you're playing with zach and i you'll set the course record and then zach ertz said first hole green looks like a walk in the park <laughs> and then zach ertz responds Four putt to start the round, not ideal. And then, of course, uh, <laughs> I said, pretend you're playing with us, not like you're playing like us, says J.J. Watt. With some laughing, crying emojis. <laughs> Can confirm, says J.J. Watt. That is just so funny. So I ask you, I mean, speaking it into existence, you're trying to give him some nice swing thoughts. Or you just leave it alone. Just good luck. A little GL. Hit send. It's 10 minutes before you know he's teeing off. Why are you texting him at all? I don't know. Why Last not? thoughts? 10 minutes before the Masters starts? How about John Rahm on his phone, though? Right? If that's my boy, I'm hitting him up whenever. He's on the range, maybe, and he's like, like walking over. They said the he first was in the range. cart. Ertz said, I ap apologize for absolutely nothing. You can expect these texts <laughs> every major going forward, my friend. Congratulations. And I'll tell you what, now. That's even more impressive that Rom four putted his first hole. He Let's not forget. Spotted everybody two strokes, and he still won the Masters. His Thursday round was just amazing. To after start that. with a double and then have go nine under after that is just. He's been the best player in the world. He obviously deserved it. I actually think you know Brooks had a four shot lead when the day started on Sunday. Obviously loses by four. I still think it's a big win for him. He's been injured for the better part of two oh, years. Yeah. He goes to live thinking his career is never going to be the same again. And now he's healthy and he had the 54 hole lead. I'm excited. This is going to be an awesome major season. Yeah. And that's the way golf is going to be now. Yep. If you are a fan of, of golf, professional golf, you're most likely going to turn on one of the alphabet networks over the air networks. You've got maybe golf channel. Our former home in Peacock. You can watch, by the way, everything that I've just mentioned right here on Roku. Yep. And that's how you'll take in your golf. Or if you're really a diehard and you are kind of sitting around going, oh, okay, that's right. The Live Tour is playing this weekend. And I kind of do want to see what those guys are up to. I'll find the CW and flip it on, which you can watch right here on Roku. And other than that, you're just going to see everybody get back together again for these majors as long as the majors aren't going to step in and, and put the same lid on the Live Tour players as the PGA Tour. I think that's already established. And that these Live Tour players are going to show up and 1 million percent perform well. Because they're insanely talented. Now, if Live Tour players in these tournaments start blowing it on the final day consistently then we'll start talking about do they need to play more than 54 holes but i can't imagine these guys are going to start forgetting what it's like to put their stamp on something with a final 18 
In the meantime, the Masters is just, it really is unlike anything else. Mm -hmm. Nothing makes me want to go play it, play golf more oh than gosh. watching the Masters. Nothing yeah. is more beautiful than this golf course. Nothing is more aspirational than this golf course about wanting to play and play well or wanting to go there. It's the only major where, where it's the first major every year, and it's the only major that's played on the same course every year, and it's the only major with the history that you can just have flashbulb memories based on the whole, mm -hmm. and it's the only major where every hole has its own personality. Name me another, like the, the U.S. Open wants to beat the players. That's the sense I get. Yeah, they want to even par. They they want you worse. to like survive yep. the open. The Pick Masters rough, can't even see the ball. The Masters wants to challenge you, but is one thousand percent up for yeah. You beat the golf course. We're fine with that because that means you can come from five six back and win a tournament. Anybody's in it. Anybody is in it. You could be five back going to the back nine, and you can't sit there and go that guy's finished. Eagle here, eagle there, but you also know the guy who's about to follow you has those same opportunities. Also, just look. water around there. Mm -hmm. You got to fire darts. There are tolls that are very challenging, but they all have their own personality and memory. And look at the score. Look at the scoreboard this weekend, Rich. Sam Bennett, the amateur, was in the final group on Saturday. He was eight under, finished two under. Phil, a fifty-two year old guy, finishes T two. A guy who hasn't played in two years, hasn't contended in the majors in three. Brooks Kepka had the fifty-four hole lead. Anything can happen at Augusta. We just got to get rid of the amateur. That's absurd. They gave they gave Sam a, a nice trophy. He doesn't get a check, right? No, he would have won. He would have won a nice chunk of change. Well, he I has mean, a nice zero next to the prize. Uh, but again, it's the first amateur we've seen in inst Instagram out a thank you to his eight sponsors. <laughs> True. So let's let's call it the collegiate player, right? He would have won uh, $261,000. Yeah, by the way, which I'm sure is less than his NIL money overall awesome. from Texas A&M, I'd assume. Or it's not, and that would be a nice chunk of change for him to get. But like I said, we we don't live in the world of Francis Weemay and Bagger Vance anymore. Like, let's, <laughs> let's bring us into the 21st century here and give him a check. Take out the A, still throw him into the concept of you're an amateur, but you're, you're, you're just a college player, right? I don't know. World's changed. But uh, a wonderful Masters, just a lot of fun. I wish it was a little bit more competitive on Sunday, but again, just watching the course and seeing it and good shots are rewarded. How many times you watch it an open and it's just like a great shot? It's just like, really? It's going to roll all the way down there? Really? Oh, one more bounce and you're in a rough that you can't see because it's up to your shins? Yeah. I mean, the Masters is really, it's perfect in so many different ways. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.